Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I want to start out by talking to you guys about headings. Now, headings are usually displayed right above an article or a section of your website, and they indicate what that section is about. Pretty much like a mini title, but I hate calling it the title because this, of course, is the title of your web page. So, anyways, the reason I want to talk about these is because they are an excellent place to stick your keywords. So, just like a title, don't just stick them in there randomly. Make sure they make sense and are actually readable to humans. And another thing I want to point out is whenever Google or any bot crawls your page, they actually rank the importance of your headings depending on what headings they are. And by that, I mean, you know, whenever you're developing a web page, then you have a bunch of different headings H1, H2, H3, H4, H5. And basically, if you didn't add any extra styling at all, heading one, those are the biggest. Heading two, they're slightly smaller. Heading three, they're a little bit smaller. So what people usually do whenever they're just making a normal web page, not thinking about SEO, they add something like this. All right. So here's my heading. And you know what? I think that this is a little bit too big. So I'm actually going to change this to heading three. So now let me refresh that and all right. So that's the size I want. Guys, if you only have one or two headings, do not do this. Even though it's smaller and you may want this heading to actually appear smaller, what Google sees as this is the third most important heading. So you may not have a heading one or heading two, but your search engine results are gonna be all skewed. So say that this is your only heading so what we need to do is we need to change it to a heading one. So then how do we make the text appear smaller so it actually looks good? Well, just go to your style sheet, write heading one, and then you can overwrite the default style. So you can say font size, uh, you know, 13 pixels. So maybe the default is like 22 pixels or something. You can just change it to however many you want. But again, whenever you're making headings right here, Make sure to use heading one for your most important ones and heading two for your second most important ones like your subtitles, so on and so forth. And another thing that you definitely should not do is don't just put your titles in divs or spans or anything like that. All right, so we got heading taken care of and let me, what was this before? Heading two. I'm gonna change that to heading two because this is actually my heading one. And this is just a demo page, by the way. It's, I just made it real quick for this tutorial series. Another thing I want to point out is the use of the alt tag. So you know before I said that search engines, they have a really difficult time of telling what these images are. That's actually why captures work so good because computers aren't very good at looking at an image and saying what it is. And the reason for that is because computers are really good at solving problems where there's only one answer. So give it a math problem and it's gonna solve it faster than human you know, a hundred times out of a hundred, but give it an image of a horse and a kid that's three years old, it's going to be a computer every time. The reason for that is that people are really good at looking at a picture and just saying what it is. Computers can't because how many different pictures of a horse can you have? You can have a horse's head. You can have a horse eating hay. You can have a black and white picture of it. There are an infinite number of possibilities. So this freaks a computer out. So what we need to do for the search engine is we need to say, hey, this picture right here, I know you aren't as smart as a three-year-old, so we're going to help you out. So what one was that? All right, it is, yep, this one right here. All right, so this is the image right here. And it just has some styling and, of course, the source to this person writing notes. So that's all that um, the bot is going to see. But what we need to do is we need to add a special alt tag. So an alt tag stands for alternate text. And it's basically a way that you can say, hey, this is what the image is. And this is actually the text that displays if for whatever reason your browser can't render this picture or some people with disabilities who have a hard time seeing then they can actually have uh, like pictures to voice and it just helps that with what as well. But anyways, this is basically a way that you can tell the search engine what this picture is. So I'm just going to say person writing notes and there you go. So 
if you know 99% of the time people are never going to see this but it just helps your crawler and bot say okay this is what the picture is this is what the content on my web page is all about so there you go headings and alt to all of your images and uh yeah learn a little bit more about seo i'll see you guys in the next video